Child of God, have you been traveling? Dear child of God, have you been struggling? Dear child of God, have you been contending about something that you need to receive? I want you to know that that time has come for you to bring forth. That time has come for you to have your bundles of joy. Yes, that time has come that you will prevail, dear child of God. That time has come that everything you have believed in God for will begin to become materialized in your life. They will become very tangible. The things you had envisaged, dear child of God, the things you have prayed for, the things you have believed for, the Lord is saying to you, now that you have travailed, you have prayed through, dear child of God, you have gone through contentions and you stood. He says, now you have won the victory and you will bring forth. God's word in Isaiah 66 verse 8 says, Who had had such a thing? It says, who had seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? He says, or shall a nation be born at once? He says, for as soon as Zion travailed, my God. He says, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Dear child of God, he says, you have travailed. And it is that time for you to bring forth. It is that time for you to have your bundles of joy and testimony. It is that time that you look around you and see everything, everything you have believed in God for, everything that seemed to have been a prayer point at some point in time. It is that time that you have them within your space. Days a nation cannot be brought forth in one day. Dear child of God, sometimes you may have waited. You waited thinking everything was going to happen in one day, but it didn't happen. And that was because it was a process God was taking you through. But I have this good news for you today. You will bring forth. You will bring forth your blessing. You would have your bundles of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, who had seen it? Who had seen such a thing? He says, can a nation be born at once? No, dear child of God. It cannot be because... There is a process to everything. You have gone through the process. And the Lord is saying to you, that time has come. That everything, everything you have believed in him for, that time has come for you to testify of them all. You have paid the price, dear child of God. You have paid your dues. You see, indeed, you have gone through trials. And what the trials of your faith did was to produce patience, was to produce endurance. And God wants you to know that you have passed. Dear child of God, you have been examined, you were weighed, and indeed, you have come out strong. Dear child of God, you have come out strong, and God wants you to know that you deserve all the blessings that will come your way. You have labored, you waited, you believed in the word of God. And now that time has come that nothing will stop you from testifying. You are blessed, dear child of God. And at this point in time of your life, no one will be able to cost you. You have paid the price and heaven knows that you have paid the price. Dear child of God, you have indeed waited. You waited for years. Asking for the Lord to show up. Asking for the Lord to show forth with his blessing. And he's saying to you, you have travailed. And that time for you to bring forth has come. And from this day on, dear child of God, you will discover you will not struggle to get anything working in your life. You'll be there. And the Lord who said he would do it when the time is right will do it. Because you have indeed gone through the process. You have waited. You have served him. You have been diligent. And he said he is not unrighteous to forget your labors of love. Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to know that you are not forgotten. The Lord wants you to know that you are not forsaken. Yes, you have had to wait. You waited. You were still to know indeed that he is God and then you have discovered that he is God. You have given him your best of service. Yes, it was not easy for you to have waited. But you waited. You waited. You trusted him despite everything. You had reasons to cut corners, dear child of God. But you knew it was a process. You see, God took Joseph through a process. After God showed him all the things that was going to manifest, it was not happening at the same time, dear child of God. These things did not come forth at once. Yes, I'm not saying that there are 
no situations that God cannot do just immediately. There are sometimes God can show up in one moment. But you see, in some blessings, God needs to take you through a process. And he said, as soon as Zion travailed, he says she brought forth. So which means at the time that Zion was not travailing, Zion was not bringing forth. Dear child of God, you deserve everything that heaven is sending out to you. And God wants you to know that you will get your blessings. You will get that blessing that you need today and your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. You see about 2 verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. It says, But at the end it shall speak. That time has come for it to speak. That time has come for it to speak. That time has come for all your labors to speak. Dear child of God, that time has come for your diligence to speak. That time has come for the faith you have had in God to speak. That time has come for all the things you have believed in God for to start manifesting. It says the vision was for an appointed time. And dear child of God, you have met that appointment. Yes, you went through the process. Dear child of God, you waited. And it is true that you have waited. You can relate within yourself that yes, I've paid the price, I've paid my dues, and I deserve to be blessed. And I pray that heaven will open up to you, dear child of God. And the things that will begin to manifest from this day, it will be a shocker to you. Even those who were mocking, you see, they began to ask you at some point in time. They had asked David. They said to him, when would your God come? Where is your God? When would he show up for you, dear child of God? You were asked that same question because you were waiting you were going through the process you were traveling and you knew that you needed to bring forth at that time they were asking you where is your god when would he show up you have served him you have been diligent you have been committed but it seems like you have been forsaken it seems like he doesn't pay attention to you why don't you cut corners they give you all these options but you refused yes you knew the things to do to get yourself out of that quagmire out of that mess but you stood waiting for god to show up and god is saying to you well done well done my child you have paid the price and i want you to know that what you have done what you have done heaven would definitely honor yes you cried you were in pains you were sorrowing the cross was too heavy for you to carry but you bore your cross dear child of god you went through the process you told God I would wait till my change comes. You were in the pain, but you said I would wait till my transformation come. You were going through a lot, but you said I would wait on you because I know you will come. You see, Job said, after I have been tried, he says I will come forth as gold. Job began to bring forth. The blessings began to manifest. Those who mocked him, they began to shut up their mouth because they have seen a transformation. They saw something greater and better than what he used to be. Dear child of God, those who may have mocked, those who may have laughed, those who may have asked you where is your God, they would all be shot because the blessings that will be coming, dear child of God, it will silence them. The things that would visit you, dear child of God, it will silence each and every one of them. And they would indeed say, now we know that your God is alive. And now we know that your God keeps to his appointment. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. It says, And will not lie. Though it tarry, says, Wait. Wait for it, because it will surely come. He is telling you today, Give it up, my child. Give it up to me. Let me handle it for you. Give it up to me. Let me do with it. All the things that you cannot do with it. He's saying to you, give it up today so I can fix every of those things that needs to be fixed. It is true that you have done your very best. It is true that you have come to the end of the tunnel for you. It is true that you have come to your finish line. It is true that you have come to the point that your strength can carry you. Why don't you allow the one who is the everlasting God, who has the everlasting strength, who is almighty, who is all powerful, 
who is all knowing why don't you allow him take it up from now why don't you allow him deal with that situation for you and bring to you that victory you know what is particular to you that you have done so much by yourself is telling you give it up to me you have tried to speak to those ladies and you've done your very best you have been as best as you can you have shown the much care but it hasn't worked the way you wanted it to work he says give it up to me you have done the very best to be attentive to give your heart to that brother but still it seems as if you are stuck you have done it yourself but still it's tossing you here and there dear child of god the lord is telling you give it up it is time for me to take over i can handle the situation for you perfectly i can do it more than you can ever imagine i can do it more than you can think of just give it up to me give up every of those things because as soon as you lift up your hands and say father i surrender it all the lord takes it up from there as soon as you lift up your hands and say father i surrender every of these things because i cannot anymore you will see the supernatural and the mighty hand take it up for you he says throw all of your anxieties unto me bring them to me every single one of them and he says the reason why he's telling you to bring them to him is because he cares for you is because he is very concerned about you so have you come to that finish line have you come to that point where you have become very weary have you come to that point that you know your strength has really really been exhausted is telling you let me take it up from here and see what i will do in no time let me take it up from here and bring you that testimony that you so desire let me take it up from here and bring you that joy that will cause your heart to forever rejoice dear child of god give it up to god and let god handle it from there give it up to god and let god take it over from where you have got into and i want to assure you it must return with a testimony i want to assure you that situation will surely turn around for the best in the mighty name of jesus i pray god will help you god will cause you to be sober god will give you the grace to be watchful because god has assigned you he has placed you in your family to be that one that will be called the watchman he had called you to be there to man the gate he has called you to stand your ground and see to it that nothing the enemies has succeeded and he said he looked for a man he sought for a man and then he found none he found none because many had gone to sleep he found none because many have stopped being watchful he found none because many have stopped praying oh lord please have mercy upon us and deliver us from the spirit of prayerlessness lord have mercy upon us and deliver us from the spirit of lack of watchfulness in the mighty name of jesus whatever the enemies have done to make you lose your strength today i pray there will be a restoration of strength in the mighty name of jesus god will give you the special strength and the special grace and you will snatch from the claws of the enemies all those that are already in captivity all those that are about to be devoured in the mighty name of jesus special strength and grace is coming upon your life to be awake to be sober to have your heart ready and panting every day unto god to see that his will prevails over your life and over your family oh lord please deliver us from the spirit of prayerlessness 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver as many, O oh God, listening right now, as many watching this video right now that has gone to the place of sleep, that have lost their strength because of some situations, because of some challenges, because of some problems facing them. O oh Lord, please deliver them today. Lord, deliver as many who are saying to you today, restore my strength and deliver my family. Please restore my household and deliver us. The Lord will restore your strength and the Lord will deliver every member of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is something God is working out and I want to assure you, dear child of God, there will be a change. There will be a change in your life and you will see strength willing up. You will see strength rising up. You will see strength restored unto you again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And at the end of the day, you would be able to say, you have stand your watch, you have stand your ground, and you have stood as that watchman that God has called you to be in your household. Whatever the enemies have done, whatever it is that may have caused you to become weak, I pray that God will restore your strength today, your strength, your spiritual strength, that you may stand strong and stand your ground to the very end, that you may be watchful, that you may do all the things that heaven have assigned you to do in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil always wants to come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but he has failed because God is giving you that strength. Yes, God is giving you that special ability, and you will stand your watch, you will stand your ground, and nothing the enemies have planned would ever succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you the victories, dear child of God, because you are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer through Jesus Christ, and there will be no casualty in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. And that time has come for it to surely come for you to testify of the goodness of God, for you to bring forth. So you see things working. Dear child of God, your testimonies will be more than you can number. The things that God will do for you, dear child of God, I want to assure you today, you will not be able to count them all in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will indeed be able to say, your joy has come. You have entered the morning season of your joy. You wept. Yes, you went through the tunnels. The Lord is saying to you, your transformation has come. Your bringing forth has come. Your breaking forth has come. Your upliftment has come. And no one will be able to stop you. Dear child of God, it is good to trust in God. It is good to have faith in God. It is good to wait for God to move, to act as he said he would. It is time for you to testify. You have paid the price and I have this message to you. You will testify. I wait for your testimony is coming. Just wait for it to manifest. It is set up already, dear child of God. Please don't lose it right now. You are now going to testify. You are going to testify of the goodness of God. Please do not lose it at this point because your blessing is already in the corner. Dear child of God, your breakthrough is already in the corner. I will celebrate the goodness of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it down because it is settled and everything around your life will begin to happen in a miraculous way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.